Happy International Trading Card Day from Cheap, Cheap Wax, Wax Chronicles. <laughs>so today because it is international trading card day what we're going to do is something a little bit different um i'm having uh, each of my kids open some pokemon packs that we picked up at our local sports card store three star sports cards and then after they're finished up i'm going to come back and take a look at the international trading card day cards that we were able to pick up and then compare those to some of the other things that toss has been doing for uh, team exclusives so first off we're going to start off with hudson he's going to be opening up some pokemon all right, so here we have Hudson, and he's going to be opening up a Pokemon uh, Sun and Moon Lost Origin. And this is a cool little blaster pack. I want to show it to the camera, buddy, so you can see it. So it's got one pack in it. It's also got a promo card, and it's got one of these cool fighting discs in it, too. So I'm going to have him go ahead and take the reins and open it up for you. Okay, make sure to do it so the camera can see, buddy, okay? You're going to want me to scoot you up a little bit. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. So there's your pack. Yeah. You need help opening it up? Or do you got it? Oh, you got it. You want me to help, bud? Can I get this? Okay. Now, buddy, you have a lot of Pokemon cards in your collection already, don't you? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. All right, let's take a look at what you got there. So... You want some help reading them? All right. So you got Zor Zorua. And then... Shower. Machop. Ooh, Pikachu. Cool, buddy. And which one is this one? Oh, that one's Jinx. I don't like Jinx very much. And then there's a cool reverse foil. That's a really cool reverse foil. And this one is of Radiant Gardevoir. And that's a really, really cool, rare uh, um, reverse foil. And the cool thing about those is that you know you have the reflection here. You want to see you want to see a reflection in the camera a little bit, so we can show it off for the people. Let's bring that out so you can see how compared to the regular Pokemon cards, how that one's really shiny and it has that nice sort of like gradient pattern in there. It's really really cool. All right, do you want to show off the next card, bud? Ooh, man, man, uh, manetric. All right. I actually think I have a Pokemon card for that guy. Okay. You do already? Okay, cool. Okay. And then you have your energy card. And then those are all your Pokemon cards. And then we have this uh, We have this uh, image variation. That's not. Huh? Oh, we already, oh, we did, yeah, you're right. We didn't show Seedra off, you're right. Yeah. And then we have that, uh, we have this uh, uh, foil variation, which is also pretty cool. So that one is very reminiscent of the McDonald's uh, promo ones where you have, it's a regular cardboard but then the actual art has a little bit of a, a hollow foil to it. So that's pretty cool. All right, and that's your pack, buddy. Nice job. Thank so you for opening like your pack. A, we still have like a bunch of- Oh, you do a bunch more, don't you? Yeah, we have like two more to do. Okay, so which, ones do we, which one do we miss? So, so we, we got have. Cedra, yeah. and then you have Thornton, the trainer, yeah. and then, I don't know that one. Me and, it me say up here? says me and Bao. So that one's pretty cool, bud. And then I got it. All right. And then. And then that's what you got. And then show off that fighting ring too, or show off the fighting disc. Nice job. And that's a really cool disc. They're usually like golden, but this one is silver. You're right. That's very cool. All right, nice job, bud. All right, so then we have Harper here, and Harper, what are you gonna open today? Uh, the Scarlet and Violet Pokemon pack. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and see what we got. Oh my gosh. Oh 
see these kind of packages. Oh wow, look at those ones. Those are cool. Okay, so we have pon uh, Pony Arm. Is that what it says? Uh, maybe. I don't know. Yep. And the Crushing Hammer Trainer. Starly. Oh, I don't know that one. Flittle? Yeah. I don't know. I totally call that one. Looks pretty cool. And Reboom. Can't make sure they're in the frame so people can see them, okay? Alright, Kilowattsel. Is that what that one is? Maybe. Kilowattsel is what it is, okay. And the Energy Switch Trainer card. It's okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, Fido. That's pretty funny. That's a pretty cool card. So that's Wait, a that so that's not a reverse foil. So this one. So the reverse foils, you have a foil imprint pattern on the back of the card, but then the art does not have any. And then you have another foil card here, and this one's really cool. I think I already have this one. You already have that one. Maybe we'll I think we do. Maybe Hudson will want to trade it for you. Yes. So this is oh. so that one's Coradon, and this is a full foil. Again, it has sort of that hollow effect that you saw in Hudson's card of the Sun and Moon series. And then you have another energy card. Yep. And then this one. So that's the end of that pack. Alright, well let's open pack number two. So that was uh, so. This is uh, the base of one of the other cards you got. There's an evolution that, that uh, Hudson actually got. Uh huh. Zen this is mm. Crow Gank. That one's kind of funny. Okay, Harper, can you uh, name off the rest of them while I talk to Hudson real quick? No. Okay. Because I can't be both places at once. Alright. D-Den. Vitality Band. Trainer card. And then I believe this is a reverse foil here. No, that's just a, yep, that's just a basic one. So that is Toxic, uh, Tox, Tox Tricky. That one's pretty funny. Yep. You want to see one, bud? Yeah. Here, here you go. Alright, so what's the next one here? Crocolore. There's your reverse foil. Reverse foil is Troxel. And then, full, and then you don't have a full foil in this pack. Oh, you do have a full foil. There we go. Pawnee. Slow bro. And then you have lightning energy. And that's all for that pack. Alright, right, so we're back with Hudson again. He's got one more pack of Pokemon that he's already opened that he wants to show you guys. Plus he wants to show you guys some other stuff he got in Park Rapids that's Pokemon related. Um I got this Pokemon ball that came with two free Pokemon. And it clicks open so you can put the Pokemon inside the ball. And then now we're on to the Pokemon cards. Yep, let's do the Pokemon cards now. Alright, let's take a look at what we got. Oh. So Mistrevis. Sneasel. Is 
Gorchita. Mayril. I have another Pokemon. Person. You have another one? Yeah. You, are, you didn't get this one too already. The Kilowattro. Azumarill. There's a reverse foil. No, that's not the reverse foil. Vespa Queen. There's a reverse foil of Oranguru. And mm. then your full foil is Love Disc. Those are pretty cool cards, buddy. You still have more. Oh, you have another full, yeah. And you have another one. This one is Tinkatron. Along with another energy card. And then did you get a trader card or not? No, it doesn't look like it. Um, I, already, I took that one out for the video. Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty cool. Nice job, bud. Bye-bye. All right, thanks to Harper and Hudson for chiming in with uh, their Pokemon finds today. Uh, now we're going to move on and talk about the uh, the crux of the International Trading Card Day, which is the TOPS offerings. Uh, for the second year in a row, it's been called International Trading Card Day instead of National Baseball Card Day. Uh, doing some rudimentary research, I figured out that um, the reason why they call it International Day is because there is already a National Trading Card Day that's, uh, that's recognized, which is every year on February 24. Uh, which uh, does not coincide with Topps' commercial release of National Baseball Card Day, which always happens at the early onset of August. Uh, and the reason why they renamed it Trading Card Day versus Baseball Card Day is because up until uh, just this last year when Fanatics acquired Topps, uh, baseball was their primary license. Now, they did have uh, some licensing with WWE, uh, some racing, and stuff like that, but they hadn't had any major sports outside of baseball that uh, they could offer cards for and that's sort of what it was which is international baseball card day and now with fanatics uh, locking down all those licenses both with players associations and leagues uh, especially and also with nal being a big thing now in college they have brought it to be national uh, international card day and they've also brought in starting in 2023 a lot more sports so last year while well, i only offered baseball cards this year they went with a more panini-esque spread across all sports and they had uh, theme packs based on the sports you could do baseball, basketball, football, uh, soccer, uh, and then they also had a women's sports ones which I thought was pretty cool which offered you know basically like you know not WNBA but that license will be coming uh, but it did offer collegiate women's sports you know basically across basketball, soccer, and volleyball most of them, for the most part which I thought was a pretty cool step. Um, what was weird about it is um, that, I don't know if it's necessarily weird, I mean it, obviously hockey wasn't there, but Upper Deck didn't have a presence this year. For the last couple of years, Upper Deck has produced hockey card packs for National Card Day, but this year they did not do so. And Panini obviously has been radio silent as they uh, just recently sued uh, Fanatics and Tops for creating a monopolistic atmosphere within sports cards. So we'll see how that works out, but that's another video for another day. Today I'm going to show off what we ended up pulling out, and uh, the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to say that uh, you could go into any card shop and you, you ask for a pack and they would give you a pack for free, no purchase necessary. If you do end up buying uh, over $10 of, of Topps or Bowman product today, which is August 5, 2023, they would actually give you an exclusive card of Mike Trout that could only be acquired by buying Topps cards. Um, so I did that. I bought this box of Heritage, which we will cover in a future video. That will be uh, my second biggest purchase this year. There's just not been a lot of baseball product, unfortunately. Uh, so hopefully that will turn the tide. Uh, but then I also did get a baseball pack, which I opened in the store because I have been fiending for something to open. And I got these cards out. So there's my Mike Trout. And let's actually go to the wide view so you guys can see it's a little better. So there's Mike Trout, and you can see he's got the National Baseball Card Day design. The card is numbered differently. So there was a retail exclusive card and a hobby exclusive card. Um, also, I got the pack of Riley Green, Corbin Carroll, and Jose Ramirez. The fact that I got Corbin Carroll in here is a pretty big thing. 
That's a nice rookie to have. Also got Wander Franco second year and a Max Scherzer. And the funny thing about Scherzer, of course, now he has changed teams uh, from being to the Mets to the Rangers. Uh, so that card is already in, uh, incorrect, which is kind of funny. Uh, as I mentioned, they did do other sports. Uh, my daughter inadvertently picked up a soccer pack. So we're going to open these up and we're going to take a look at these. And the cool thing about these is that these do maintain a consistent design. Kind of a throwback to when Tops had all licenses back in the day when they were all non-exclusive. And had a bunch of sets that looked, you know, if not identical, very, very similar across all sports. So you do have uh, Julian Alvarez, uh, Alfonso Davies, uh, Neymar Jr., Hung Kin Sun, and Cody Gapko. And these are all from the UEFA League versus an MLS or something like that. But that's pretty cool they actually offered it. And I thought what was kind of cool is that the other thing to do is with the uh, with the time of National Baseball Card Day, they also give out sets at baseball games. And in the past, typically there hasn't been a whole lot of differentiation between um, sets. There have been a couple of years where National Baseball Card Day and team issued sets have differed quite a bit in design. Um, and then there have also been some years where the team sets carry the same design as the mainline set does. But what they did this year I think is extremely cool. What they did is they actually took the National Baseball Card Day design and put it into a rainbow foil for your team issues. And it creates a really sharp card. So for example, I have Simeon Woods Richardson here. That is a really sharp looking card with the rainbow foil there. And again, that's a team issued card you can only pick up at Target Field uh, during I believe it was an afternoon in July. So, but those are pretty cool. And again, we do have a box of heritage coming up. Uh, I am gonna post this today because this is National Training Guard Day. We wanna make sure we celebrate that. Uh, so always, make sure you stay safe and stay well and support your local card shop.